Hey everyone, it's Lizzie and welcome back to my channel. Today I am just going ahead and sharing with you guys the last paycheck of February. I know I'm a bit late with this, but things just have been happening, but I really wanted to get this video out for you guys because I do think that it is super helpful. So if you guys are interested to see what our last paycheck in February looks like and how we broke it down, then keep on watching. So I talk all the time about breaking down your budget by each paycheck. And I love using this document. It is called the Bill Tracker. So the Bill Tracker allows you to really get in detail when it comes to breaking down your finances. So let me go ahead and just zoom you guys in. That way you can see how I break down our paycheck budgets utilizing the Bill Tracker. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is list out all of your expenses, your fixed expenses. These are items that have a set dollar amount and it has a set due date. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is list it out exactly in order of when they come out. Put the total due and then you're going to write in the days that you expect a paycheck for whatever month that you are currently in. Right now, this is the February bill tracker, but you can utilize a worksheet, paper and a notebook, or my worksheets to break down your paychecks utilizing this worksheet. Now, when you write in your paydays, you will then find the total amount of the bill and figure out when you have to have that total amount set aside in your bank account for that bill to be debited so you have enough. And I love breaking down my budget by pay because it doesn't overwhelm you when you have to pay that bill. You know, it's one thing where, you know, you only have to set aside $200 for a specific bill instead of $800. So I really like breaking up my pay check budgets utilizing this method. And so what I do, I first highlight when I know I have to have the total funds set aside. So for example, this is the last pay for February. So I know I have to have our rent, which is due on the first, in my bank account on the last payday in the prior month because it is due the first of the following month. So I highlight those and then I'll divide the amount, the total amount due by the number of paydays and that allows me to break down my budget. So that's what I do. And so, yes, I know that there's only three here. However, we were setting aside funds for rent, the prior bill tracker system. So just do what makes sense or do whatever you've set aside and break it down that way. So that's what I look at first when I break down my paycheck budget. So this is pretty much step number one, figure out your bill tracker, break it down, and it allows you to easily complete your paycheck budget. So that way you're not super overwhelmed. So this is the last paycheck of February, as I mentioned, and our total income came out to be 2,527.03. And we break down our income into three different categories. The first one is the expenses, the second category is our goal, and then the last category is tithe. Now tithe is something that is our belief, what we do um, as you know, followers of Christ. It's something that we do, guys. So if that doesn't pertain to you, obviously then don't include that. But this is included in my worksheets and they're not edible, edible, editable. They're not able to be changed, so if this doesn't pertain to you, then just go ahead and skip on by because this is something that we faithfully do and it has really just blessed us so much more in return. But what we're doing is adding an additional percentage just for an offering. So an additional offering above the tithe, we felt in our heart that for this time, this season, um, we do want to give a little bit more to, for our community and everything. So we're giving 5% more. So essentially it's taking the income and multiplying it by 15%. So what we did, we just broke it down and we took 10% and we applied it to our tithe and we did an additional five and just broke it down to offering. Now these ones we do set aside by specific percentages. So 70% is going to expenses, 
from the income and then 15% is going to our goal, which is our savings and sinking funds. So depending on your goal, you can break it down however you wish. This is just how we're breaking down this particular paycheck budget into these categories. So we've already set aside funds for the giving, it comes to 379. And now we look at the remaining total. So the income and subtracting the giving leaves us with 2,148 to break down the budget. Now we want to be within the percentage amount. This is the goal. This is the key that we keep referencing whenever we're breaking down our budget. You obviously don't have to have this number that you wrote in to be like set in stone and like that is how much you have to spend. If it's a lot of money, try to spend less than that. The point is to not go over whatever dollar amount that you wrote in here. Everyone's goal is different. Everyone's finances are different. So obviously you do what works and makes sense for you. So utilizing the bill tracker, these are the expenses that we are setting aside and the highlighted ones, those are what we actually withdrew in cash because we pay um, my husband's trainer in cash. So yeah, it just makes sense for us to do it that way. Now there's one expense here that has been added from this paycheck and that is MediShare. We have news to share, but that's going to be coming a little bit later. But MediShare is a type of like health coverage to help us with our medical costs. So we enrolled in that. And so this is the monthly share amount, which we just started. So it was 328. So this is going to be a new expense for us. That's going to adjust a few things for our budget, but the fixed total amount is $1,000. $131.49, leaving us with $716 to break down the budget. So now that $1431, we are still under the $1768 that we wanted to have it be our goal. So it still allows us room to break down our budget for like the variable spending, which is like the, the daily cash envelopes. If you're a cash envelope user, those random transactions for like fun, entertainment, all of that is variable. So you can break down by those specific categories here. So we have eating out groceries, home, and our allowance. So the total for that comes to $295. So we are within that amount that we wanted to have it be our goal. So let's actually see. So the 295 and we're going to add the 1431.49. So 17.26 is the total for the expenses. So we're under by a little bit for that goal amount that we wanted to set aside for expenses of 70%. So now let's move on to our goals. So we have um, specific sinking funds that we do want to save for. One of them is our anniversary. We want to continue putting funds to our car maintenance. Um, my husband's birthday is this month, um, so I want to still contribute to that because we have a, a certain dollar amount goal for his birthday and then vacation. So yes, we're putting in a small amount for a couple of these, but something is better than nothing. So total that we are putting for our sinking funds is $82. And then we have our emergency fund, home and retirement that we are putting money aside as well for our goals. So 169.54 is going to emergency, $26 is going to home and then 144 we're saying is going to my husband's retirement. And we are actually opening up a retirement account I spoke to an advisor and I got so much information. So I'm very grateful for that. And now it's time to for us to go ahead and um, make that move and switch things up in our finances for our future. So we focus on having a zero base budget, meaning we give every single one of our dollars a place to be. We give every dollar a job. And I love utilizing the app every dollar. I've talked about it countless times, but it's really allowed us to gain a better hold on our finances. So I definitely encourage you guys to check out that app. Um, it is a free app. It doesn't cost anything at all to just plug in your numbers, but it really allows you to see and stay on track with your finances. So definitely recommend that. But yeah, this is our simple paycheck budget. We are a bit ahead um, when it comes to our paycheck bill tracker. 
And I do want to mention one thing. So you saw the bill tracker that I showed you. It was for February, but let me correct one thing that I realized is that these expenses are actually for the pay ahead. So they're actually for this particular paycheck because we've been planning a week ahead to be a week ahead in our expenses. So I don't want to confuse you guys, but yeah, we budgeted out the last paycheck of February to pay for like this week of when, when we receive our paycheck. So hopefully that didn't confuse you guys too much. Let me know if you have any questions on like maybe how we managed to get a week ahead in our bills. Um, I'll see if I can do a video on that, but that is everything for today's video. I hope that you just find it encouraging to just stay organized on your budget and just know that not everyone's budget, not everyone's method works exactly for you. So you can take bits and pieces of what one person shares and apply it and make it unique to your situation. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and you are just encouraged to get on a written budget and do it in a way that makes sense to you and your family. So that is everything for today's video and I will see you guys in a brand new one. Bye guys.